All right, let's look at this play that everybody been talking about, man. Let me see. Okay, he lined up. Ooh, 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 ugh. He got him from jump, and the throw was perfect too. Mm. But this, this is only good for the Ravens. Ain't you no know just what I mean. You too, team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, gotta made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, we just watched the video that had been floating around Twitter and Instagram and just everywhere on Rashad Bateman beating Marlon Humphrey uh, at minicamp. And it, it was beautiful, man. The route was beautiful. The cut was beautiful. The release, that was probably my favorite part uh, of the entire thing. But this... I, I've seen some. I've actually seen some people say that from that little clip in practice. I've seen some, and, and it's Twitter. So again, got to do that disclaimer. But some people have actually said that Marlon Humphrey is washed because of that. <sighs> but anyway, um, before we get into this video, shout out to all the team. Keep it clean, patrons. Uh, I appreciate y'all, new patrons, old patrons. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel. Um, team keep it clean just everybody thank you for rocking with the channel uh we pushing forty two thousand subscribers so every time i think about that i'm like man that's that's really weird like this forty two thousand people that's really crazy out there but i love y'all and i love y'all crazy and i love y'all crazy positivity too so i appreciate it now Rashad Bateman, um, he was the talk of the town. Y'all remember how hyped I was when we drafted Rashad Bateman, man, because this is the guy uh, that I wanted the Ravens to draft at wide receiver in the first round. So when the Ravens actually drafted Rashad Bateman at wide receiver in the first round, I was hyped, man. I loved it. I loved it because it's like when, when certain things happen the way that you want them to happen, even though you don't expect it. But when certain things happen like that, it's just like, oh, man, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And everything that we've heard about Rashad Bateman, he has certainly lived up to the hype so far. Now, it's still early because, again, this the mini camp and OTA stuff is cool. And even come training camp, that'll be cooler. But the real stuff will come in the regular season. That's when we really uh, got to see it. But Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey in the press a, a few days back, he talked about Rashad Bateman and he gave Rashad Bateman a lot of respect uh, and a lot of praise. And you could hear, you could tell that he was being genuine about it. He was being very sincere about it, too. He spoke highly of Rashad Bateman and he said that he told Eric DaCosta, hey, we got a good one. We got a good one. And they do. Now, with um, with Rashad Bateman, again, it was only one clip. So I'm not getting all hyped over that one clip, even though a lot of people are getting all hyped over that one clip, even though it was a really nice clip. It was just a clip. So we have to see the body of work in the NFL. But, but, a couple of things. This is a great thing. One, because for Rashad Bateman, this is a great scenario. It's a great scenario because Rashad Bateman comes in comes to the Ravens as a wide receiver and you know that their history with their drafting and developing of wide receivers hasn't been the best Hollywood is looking like he's on track to he could end up being the best receiver so far that the Ravens have ever drafted and developed so he's looking like he's on pace to do that but in their entire existence in their history their drafting and development of the wide receivers has not been the best but with Rashad Bateman, he comes into a situation where the Ravens, what they do good, the, the run game, that's their thing. Now, the passing game just needs some few, a few improvements here and there. And they brought in the coaches that have the resume to do that. So Rashad Bateman comes into a time when the Ravens bring in a T. Martin and bring in a, bring in a Keith Williams as well, who have excellent resumes when it comes to wide receivers. So he comes into that, and, and then... The situation he's in going up against this defense. Like, think about who he'll be going up against in practice. Think about it. Some of the, the, the one of the best, if not the best, set of corners in the league. Think seriously. Because he'll be going up against Marlon Humphrey, one of the best cornerbacks in the league. He'll be going up against Marcus Peters. 
one of the best cornerbacks in the league. Then he'll be going up against a guy who would have been one of the best cornerbacks in the league had he remained healthy, Jimmy Smith. And Jimmy Smith is still really good, but the health just got in the way of his entire career. But when he's healthy, oh, he's on it. Y'all already know. But Rashad Bateman gets to go up against that in practice every single day. And then once training cam comes in and they put them pads on, you really get some real competition there. So this is such a great situation for Rashad Bateman. It's a great situation for the Baltimore Ravens because this can only make him that much better going against these corners like that. Because And then you got Tay-Tay as well. You got Tay-Tay. So one of the better slot cornerbacks in the league. So Rashad Bateman, it's only a benefit to him. So when he when it is week one and he going against them Las Vegas Raiders corners and he hits a release like that, hits a slant, hits whatever. And he like, hold up, man. Wait a minute. I, that's, a, that's it? That, this, is, this is an NFL corner? Like, I, I, I went against Marlon Humphrey in practice. I went against Marcus. I went against Jimmy Smith. I went against Tavon Young in practice. This, this, this is what y'all got? <laughs> but, nah, it's, yeah, I'm sure he ain't going to do that. But, I mean, hopefully he does. But Rashad Bateman is in such a great situation uh, for it to start off his career. Now, another thing with Marlon Humphrey, something that he mentioned, uh, which is a very, very good point. And it's crazy because with Ravens fans, there's been a lot of not even debate, but there's just been a lot of back and forth about the Ravens wide receiver situation. And usually, like usually going into, and Marlon Humphrey talked about it a couple days ago as well, usually going into the situation, going into the season, we know like, okay, these are the receivers that are going to make it. These are the, the receivers that are locks. These are the guys that are guaranteed to make the team. We already know. But now this season? It's not like that. It's not like that. And Marlon Humphrey, he talked about it. He said, usually, usually we know like, okay, these guys, they're going to make the team. They're going to make the squad. They're going to make it. But he said, but this year is different. He said, this year, we just, we, they got a couple of guys who we just don't know because the competition is that good and the receivers are that much better. He talked about how it's just a different energy with the, with the wide receivers right now. And that energy, in my opinion, I think is really coming and starting from the new coaches that got put in place with T. Martin and Keith Williams. I think it starts with them. But with, with Marlon Humphrey, with him saying that, it just gave me a nice reminder like, hey, this is a lot of what's been the debate amongst a lot of Ravens fans. Like, which wide receivers are going to make the roster? Because for it's a few of them that we, we just don't know. Because the locks, of course, Sammy Watkins, Hollywood, Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay, Tylen Wallace. Now, the ones that are questionable are... Uh, Miles Boykin, even though, like I said, in my opinion, I think he's going to make the roster. But there's Miles Boykin. Uh, there's James Prochet. So those are the guys who is like, oof, I don't know. I don't know. And then you got Benjamin Victor, who was apparently showing out at the end of minicamp doing his thing. It's like, oh, OK. Then you got Deion Kane that's still fighting as well. So you just never know. You never know. But this is a good thing. This is a beautiful thing. Did I include Bateman on the list of locks? I feel like I didn't say his name. But either way, he's on there too. But it's just, it's, it's so much question right now. But this is a beautiful thing because since there's question at the wide receiver position, that means there's competition there. So this thing is, is going to get sorted out either way. But I, I just love the, the situation that the Ravens are in. So Rashad Bateman, yeah, he got Marlon Humphrey on that clip. They, but I'm sure there's plenty of clips with Marlon Humphrey. Might have got him too. But either way, it, it makes them better. And then with the receivers, it, it just it's not only Rashad Bateman that benefits too. It's all of these guys. Because all of these receivers benefit from going against these top corners. But then at the same time, all these receivers are also getting this top coaching. 
Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Rashad Bateman was on that route when it came to Marlon Humphrey clamping him up, Rashad Bateman said, <laughs> I'm out.